I'm Diane Cometa and today on Dishing with Di, I'm going to show you how to make cinnamon sugar crispy tortilla chips. These are delicious as an appetizer or a snack and there's only a few simple ingredients. So let me show you what you need and we'll get started on Dishing with Di. You need some white granulated sugar and some ground cinnamon a little bit of salt, and some cooking spray. And some flour tortillas. That's what these are right here. So these are about eight inches wide. You can get larger ones if you want to, but these are nice and soft and that's what you want. Now, uh, the other things that you need are a baking sheet that's lined with parchment paper, and I have a plastic Ziploc bag here. And I have a pizza cutter, but you could use a knife for this as well. And I have my oven preheating to 375 degrees. Now, before we get started, just mentioning the cooking spray. If you don't have cooking spray, you could use a vegetable oil or canola oil for this or some melted butter. But I've tested this recipe with all three things, the spray, the vegetable oil, and the butter, and it comes out best with the spray and then the butter, and then lastly, the vegetable oil. So this is your first option here if you can get this. So the first thing that we're going to do is take the flour tortillas and we're going to spray them with some non-stick cooking spray on both sides. So I have a cutting board here and I'm just going to lay them out and just give it a spray lightly and then flip it over and spray the other side and just do that to all of them. Okay, now once you get that done, then you're going to take either your knife or your pizza cutter and you're just going to cut these. So first, cut them in half and then in half again. And I want a lot, so I'm going to cut them again. So into eighths. All right, that looks good. And now the last thing we're going to do is take the cinnamon and sugar and just put a little pinch of salt in there. I like a little salt in there for a little extra flavor. And we're going to take our bag. This is so easy. You're going to say to yourself, why didn't I think of that? <laughs> but that's what I'm here for. Okay, so now take the bag and close it up and just shake all this together to combine it. And now you see where we're going with this, don't you? Now we're going to take our greased up tortillas and we're going to throw them in the bag. So this gets them coated on all sides and they come out absolutely delicious. So just throw, I'm going to throw half of them in here first. I don't want to put too many. And then I'm just going to close this up. Make sure you seal it because you don't want to shake it and then have all this stuff shooting out at you. That would not be pretty. So just give it a shake. Okay, let me just show you what that looks like. Okay, see they're thoroughly coated on both sides. And now I'm just gonna put these onto my parchment lined baking sheet. If you don't have parchment paper, you could use wax paper, or you could just you know lay them out on your baking sheet. They should be fine, they shouldn't stick. Okay, they're all ready to go. I have my oven preheated to 375, and these are gonna go in for eight to 10 minutes, and I'll show you what they look like when they're done. And there we go, all done. That was about 10 minutes, so they cook up really quickly. And let me just show you what they look like. Both sides get really beautifully crisp. Look, that's the underside, and then here's the top. Nice and crispy, and let me just give it a taste. Mmm. Great combo. Cinnamon and sugar. The recipe is on my website, dishingwithdye.com. So don't forget to go over there and check that out and check all my other stuff out too. I look forward to seeing you next time and I hope I made your life a little easier, more enjoyable, and delicious. Bye bye now.